Today we are going to start a topic related to the animal tissues and this is the introductory video for the animal tissue and very first we must know that what is tissue. So a tissue is a group of cells, okay, a group of cells in which cells are similar in structure, function as well as origin is called as a tissue. So what we call, what is a tissue? It is a group of cells in which the cells are similar in structure, function and origin. This group of cells is called as a tissue. Okay. Now one thing you must notice in a tissue that in a tissue cells may be dissimilar in structure or function. Remember this thing that in a tissue the cells may be dissimilar in the structure and the function but they are always common in origin. This is the condition. Again I am repeating in a tissue cells may be dissimilar in the structure and the function but they are always having a common origin okay and you must also know that group of cells combine to form a tissue right and tissue combine to form organ and two or more than two organs combine to form what organ system okay again i am repeating cells combine to form tissues tissues combine to form organ organ combine to form organ system it means all the multicellular organisms all the higher organisms are having organ systems so the question arises that uh, how this organ system is formed so cells combine to form tissues tissues combine to form organ organ combine to form organ system fine now cell tissue organ and organ system our body is composed of what cells tissues organ and organ system and all these split up the work all these in our body split up the work means they divide the work and this division is called as division of labor this is called as division of labor why that different cells or the different tissues or the organs or the organ systems are given different different roles in our body so in multicellular creatures the cells the tissues the organs and the organ systems split the work of the body okay and therefore this is called as division of labor okay now as we know that we are talking about the tissues in this video so let have a introductory part or a history part of the tissue okay so plant tissue term were given by Grew. Listen, when we talk about the plant anatomy, then in plant anatomy also we study the tissue. So plant tissue, here we are talking about the animal tissues. So we will be, uh, we will be talking about the animal tissues, but plant tissue term were given by Grew. You must know that the plant tissue term was given by Grew, but the animal tissue, but the animal tissue term was given by Bichat. Okay, again I am repeating the plant tissue term was given by the grew and the animal tissue term was given by bichat okay and the study of the tissue the study of the tissue is called as the histology okay histology means what study of tissues so study of tissue is called as histology and histology word was given by this term histology was first of all given by a scientist known as the mayor okay and father of histology father of histology is Javier Bichat okay father of histology the person who gave the term animal tissue Bichat is also known as the father of histology so father of histology is Javier Bichat okay and the detailed study of the tissue is called as right the detailed study of the tissue is called as the microscopic anatomy what we call microscopic anatomy anatomy means a structure of uh, or we can say it is a study of internal organization so detailed study of tissue is called as a microscopic anatomy and founder of microscopic anatomy founder of the microscopic anatomy or in some books you can get this line that founder of histology you can call it is founder of microscopic anatomy or the founder of histology is Marcelo Malpighi okay Marcelo Malpighi so once again plant tissue term was given by Grew 
एनिमल टिश्यू टर्म वॉज गिवन बाय बिचैट जेवियर बिचैट स्टडी ऑफ टिश्यू इज कॉल्ड एज हिस्टोलॉजी हिस्टोलॉजी टर्म वॉज एक्चुअली गिवन बाय और द वर्ड वॉज गिवन बाय मेयर फादर ऑफ हिस्टोलॉजी इज जेवियर बिचैट डिटेल स्टडी ऑफ द टिश्यू इज कॉल्ड एज माइक्रोस्कोपिक एनाटोमी एंड फाउंडर ऑफ द माइक्रोस्कोपिक एनाटोमी और द फाउंडर ऑफ द हिस्टोलॉजी राइट इज द मार्सिलो मेलपीगी फाइन नाउ वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एनिमल टिश्यूज सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर एंड द फंक्शन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर एंड द फंक्शन अ टिश्यू कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू हाउ मेनी कैटेगरीज फोर कैटेगरीज ओके द एपिथिलियर टिश्यू द कनेक्टिव टिश्यू the muscular tissue and the nervous tissue once again i am repeating on the basis of the structure and the function the tissues are classified into how many categories four categories epithelial tissue or you can call it as epithelium tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and nervous tissue now epithelial tissue it is a covering what is the chief function what is the chief function of the epithelial tissue as the name is indicating it is actually it is the tissue which is lining many areas in our body it is a tissue which lines many organs okay so it is a covering tissue as well as it is a protective tissue okay as it is lining many organs it is called as a covering tissue and it is protecting many organs hence called it as a protective tissue so epithelial tissue is having the prime function that it is a covering tissue as well as it is a protective tissue okay now next comes the connective tissue this connective tissue is very very important in our body why as the name is indicating connective tissue it means it is connecting the various structures in our body it is connecting various structures in our body it is meant for transport of various substances say for if i talk about the blood so blood is a connective tissue so it is meant for the transport of the substances from one place to another in the body and it also provides the support to the body say for the bones in the cartilage all right are supporting the body and all are included in the connective tissue so we can say this the connective tissue is having three prime roles it connects the different structures in our body it is meant for the transport of the substances it provides the support to the body okay so this is the prime function of the connective tissue next come the muscular tissue as we know very well that we can uh, show different types of the movement we can locomote from one place to another so the tissue which is concerned with the movement and the locomotion and the contraction right is related to the muscular tissue so this tissue helps in contraction uh, as well as movement plus locomotion so muscular tissue is meant for contraction movement and locomotion fine and the last one is nervous tissue the most most important tissue found in the animal body is the nervous tissue because nervous tissue is responsible for the generation and the conduction of the impulse in our body it is meant for the generation or we can say it as it is meant for the initiation and the conduction of the impulse in our body so all together there are how many types of the tissues four epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and nervous tissue okay so by this topic today we have started in this video the introductory part of the animal tissue in the coming days i will be dealing with all the four types of the tissues in detail so keep watching and like and share my videos so that each and every student can be benefited thanks a lot